The blizzard of the century. That's how New York Governor Kathy Hochul called the winter storm that hit the country over the Christmas weekend. Most of the deaths happened in western New York, where 30 people died. According to 32 people died. According to city officials, 31 of New York's deaths are in Erie County, which includes the city of Buffalo. Kelly Meyer reports on the details. Well, everywhere you look, there are people in need. Some are displaced without heat or electricity. Others still trapped in their homes due to the snow and others need life saving treatment. There are stories of these survivors being met with messages of hope and what we're quickly learning coming in from Washington DC is what Buffalo is all about and that's the city of good neighbors. I've been here 30 years and never seen anything like this, like never. Elisa Smith making the trek through four foot drifts of snow, looking for an open convenience store to get milk and tissues for her kids. The store, they was the first store open. It's her first time leaving her home since Friday. Her family trapped inside by the snow. Couldn't even get out, you know, for the past few days to go get my kids anything. So now I figure I'm like, it's kind of clear. I'm like, let me take a walk and I see you guys. Some stuck indoors, others abandoning their cars outside. Jay returning to his today to find his engine compartment was packed full of snow. We're looking at three days of a Buffalo blizzard right here. Yeah. Go. But with the help of strangers, getting that jump start Damn. and back on the road. It's our town. We love our town. The only thing we go to do is sit out here and help anybody. Anybody stuck? Any, anybody need help? We got y'all. Good neighbors at every turn in Buffalo. This Facebook group drawing our attention to people like Deidre Davidson, snowed in, wheelchair bound, and stuck waiting six days for a dialysis appointment. I just knew that going on these days were not good for me. Day, her roads finally getting plowed. Yeah, I think if we go backwards. Man. And with the assist from the National Guard, Deidre was able to get her treatment. And that's Kelly Meyer reporting.